welcome. This is Ageless John with another Android Studio tutorial. And this tutorial is actually going to be sort of a recap of a subject that we've already covered. Uh, bundles, extra intent, and uh, passing information between the different activities. I just wanted to go over this again. Uh, I've created a, a new interesting way to pass information, uh, well, a new app so it make, makes it easier to understand I thought I might rehash it so and I'm just gonna show you what this app does and it's I hope very well annotated and I'll put this up on my web page and uh, you'll be able to look it up and read it and further understand what's going on after I've shown you what's going on alright here's the primary activity this sends and this saves this text view right here this text view right he, here receives but it does not send and we're going to see that. I'm going to put a, an A there and a B there. And I'm going to click to go to the secondary activity. All right. And this is A, which was sent from the primary activity, the main activity. And B did not get sent. However, this will send information back to the primary main activity. All right, so we're going to click to return, and we've got A and C. And then we click it again, go to secondary, it's gone. So I'm just going to go through this and show you uh, what's going on in the background, and I think that that will help illustrate better how this works. All right, let's jump right into the main activity. One of the things I want to show you right off the bat is the intent. You know, we, of course, you should know by now that the intent is what's used to open up the other's activities in a in your primary activity which is what we're doing here main activity the intent we're using that to open our secondary our secondary activity dot class now with intent we're using put extra which is my key now if you remember from the last time that is actually a key and with that key we attach information to it it has to be used exactly the same way as it is used here the secondary activity my edit text get text that's the information that we entered in the activity main XML the very first text view and then it changes it to a string and it shoves it all there and that with the combination key. of start activity for result and on activity result what we're in fact we're doing we're starting another activity and receiving a result back of course activity 2 that activity must be designed to return a result and in this case it does it sends a result back in the form of another intent object um, it's here on the activity results that you receive it in the callback in order to do this we also have to pass a, uh, a request code and that is what this is and you'll see up here that it is given a integer of zero down here at the very bottom you bundle extras equals intent get extras this is how we're going to get the data out of our bundle that we passed uh, from the other secondary activity and then this is a checking because if you have to check because if it doesn't return something you'll get an error in your app will crash in this case this is kind of redundant because there's only two activities and it's always going to pass now if there was a third activity and for some reason you were going back to the pro the uh, main activity and not passing something this would be uh, valid but in this case it's just for practice uh, then it checks to see if there's a return key which is sent by second activity and then puts that in the text here in the on click view I'd like to point out that this is only sending stuff via my key and this is why when we go to secondary we're not going to have anything in the second box. Click to launch secondary. Click to return to main. Click to launch secondary. See the second? There's not ever going to be anything in here because we're not passing anything. All we're passing is my key, which only contains information from the main activity edit text view right here, the first one. However, on the second activity, we are actually passing information back to main activity and as, as we already mentioned main activity already has something in place to maintain the information from 
its first data entry point, its first text view. So it would need something else to maintain the information for this, which it does not have. So secondary view only sends information from the second text view, and then the main activity is by itself preserving the information on the primary text view up here. So that sends this, and if you go back and look in your Java, you'll see here input extra return key, my edit text B, which is the second edit text right here. That's what we're sending. Saved instance, this is checking to see if the saved instance is not null. And if it's not, then get string and give it to my key. And check to see if bundle is null or not. You have to do this again in case there was something, situation in which nothing was passed that could cause your app to crash. And this situation, it won't ever occur, but it's, it's good policy to Bundles, do this anyway. extra, get intent, get extras, gets information out of the bundle, assigns that information if, it's, if there's something in there to my intent string and then sets the m edit text to to that string you can see how this gets very quickly uh, very confusing we've got this right here set text and that's just a variable but if you'll follow it private edit text up here that's where it first appears. Here's where we're actually assigning it. Find by view. Edit text, find by view. The text secondary. And inside this button, we are assigning the string to M, M edit text to. So there's a lot going on with M edit text to. And we also have up here to B, which is very similar. So my suggestion is for you, for your aid, to so help you understand how this flows a little bit better. If you could start getting confused, take this, copy it, paste it in here, and uh, it will change the location of where the text. This has been Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I hope you can learn something and walked away with a little bit more understanding. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up, and I'll see you around.